Let's now take a look at using the Theosaurus research and translation tools in Word. So first, let's take a look at other ways to work with the words in our documents. Let's first go to the Review tab. There you will find an option called Define. This will let you see the meaning of the word. The shortcut for this one is Control F7. So let's highlight one word. We click on that. Okay, highlighted a state. So let's choose Define. And as you can see, there's the shortcut key. That will bring up the dictionary on the side here. And there's a definition for the word estate. So say we're using that word and we think, well, maybe there's some other options that we can use instead of estate. So one way to do that is to choose the Theosaurus. So let's click on that. So the shortcut key for that, as you can see, is Shift F7. Let's click on it. Okay, so here's the word estate. And in here we can see you know, we have land and park domain, manor, plantation. So there's quite a variety if we want to change the word that we're using in this paragraph. There's also a handy option here if you actually want to hear what it sounds like. Maybe it's not a common word to you. So you can actually click here and you'll be able to listen to the word and also down here as well. Okay, so let's close off these panels on the side and take a look at one other way that we can do this. So with our word estate highlighted, let's right click on it. So in here we'll actually see we do have an option the same as in the ribbon, which is defined. So let's click on that. And again, we have the word defined there for us so we can see what it means. And again, if we come down here, we find synonyms, and in that it gives us a list of words. If you find that these ones are a bit limited to what you think you may need to use, you can actually just click on the Theosaurus, and that will open it up again in a panel on the side. Okay, so that's a quick look at Define and Theosaurus. Let's close off the panels now. So another option here that we have in the proofing area is this word count. So let's click on that. So in here instantly we can see we have five pages. There's 440 words. It gives us a list of characters with no spaces or with spaces, how many paragraphs and how many lines. So that could be quite handy if you're trying to write a document that you have a minimum amount of characters or, or words that you need to use. Okay, so we'll just close that off. Another useful function, if you're dealing with customers from other countries and you need to uh, write your document in maybe another language, is a translation option. So let's highlight one portion of the text, and then we click on Translate. Okay, so then we have an option here which we can translate the whole document, or just selected text. Okay, so what we'll do is We'll choose selected text as I've highlighted that one. So up here we see our sentence that we've highlighted. We want to do a translation. It's already in English. And the option that we have now, which is chosen, is Chinese. So if we click on here, we can actually change it to any other language that we want. So once you've got the language that you want to change it to, you can either insert it, or you can click on here and copy it, and then bring it over to the document and paste it in. So you have it in English, and then you also have it in Czech if you wanted to. So that's quite useful. Okay, so that's a quick look at using the Theosaurus, doing some research on words, and using the translation tools. So let's move on to the next topic.